Hey guys, today I'll be showing you what is a plan and what are elevations using a 3D model. So stay tuned. This is a 3D solid, three dimensional solid. So here we have many different faces and the vertices, that means these I, J, K, L, the vertices have already been lettered and these are called edges. The dimensions are also given. Now let's look at what a plan is. A plan is actually a drawing. Plan and elevations are drawings. A plan is a drawing, an image that is formed when the object is viewed from the top, from above. Now let's look at the 3D model. This is in a 3D shape. So the plan will be when we look at this object from above. So imagine you go above the object and look at it like this. Now this will be the plan. So there won't be depth here in our drawing. So it will be just one box. Let's look at it like this. So this is our plan of the 3D object. Imagine you go above the object and look down. Now let's try to draw the plan. Now when we draw a plan, or elevations in fact, the lines that are visible, the edges that are visible must be drawn using a solid line. The hidden edges are drawn using a dashed line. So here for the plan, let's go back to the 3D structure. Here in this plan, there are no hidden edges. All the edges are visible. This edge is visible, this edge is visible. There are no hidden edges. So for this one, let's look at this. So here we have, we can see it looks like as if there are three rectangles here. And that is what we are going to draw for the plan. When we draw the plan, there are a few things that you need to include. First is the vertices. You must label the vertices in your drawing. So here, let's look back at our drawing here. When we look from the top, we see L at the corner. And then we write L here. Now, stroke D means D is a vertex behind L, directly behind. So let's look at this L. Behind L is D. That is why we write L stroke D. Same for this. Let's look at this. Here is I. And then behind I is A. So we write I stroke A. Here is K. Behind K, directly behind K, there's nothing and J. Directly behind J, there's nothing. Same for E and H. So it is J, K, E and H. So J, K, E and H. And at the end here, we have F, B, G, C. Here we have F stroke B because B is behind F and G stroke C because C is behind G. And then we have our dimensions as well. Our dimensions, this IJ, length of IJ is the same as the length of BC. So it is 2 centimeters. We write 2 centimeters here. And then this one, LK. LK is the same length as IJ. So since IJ is 3 centimeters, LK is also 3 centimeters. We write 3 centimeters. Let's look at KH. For KH, we don't take the length of this slope here. We take the length as if it was on a single plane. So we take the length as if it was flat. That means we are actually taking the length from here to E. This length here. And since this is 3 centimeters and this is 1 centimeter, then the whole thing here is 6 centimeters. Then we can get this length here, which will be 6 minus 3 minus 1. So 6 minus 3 minus 1 is 6 minus 4, which is 2 centimeters. So we write 2 centimeters. KH is the same length as JE. So remember, we are not taking the slope because we are, we are looking at it directly from the top and that is the length that we see. And then HG, same as EF, which is 1 centimeter. So here we have 1 centimeter. And this is the plan. So the plan consists of a drawing when the object is looked at from the top. We can imagine you go above the object and you look down and you see one flat plane. And this is the drawing of the object. Remember to label the vertices and the edges must be given their lengths. And this is the plan. Now what about elevations? <music> elevations, similar to plan, is a drawing, but this time not from the top. It can be from the front or from the sides. 
So elevation is an image when it's viewed from the front or the sides. Look at this. X is from the front. Y and Z are from the sides. So let's take a look at elevation from X first. So elevation from X, the drawing rules are the same. Visible edges must be drawn with a solid line and the hidden edges must be drawn with a dashed line. So when we look from the front, when we look from the front, let's go to 3D drawing. When we look from the front, so the front will be like this. So when we look for the front, we can see that there are no hidden edges. There's no hidden edges. All the edges are visible. Nothing is hidden at the back like this. So this will be our elevation from X. Now, elevation from X will look like this. Just take the shape here. The labeling of the vertices are the same. So here we have I and L is directly behind I. So we write I stroke L. And then here J and K is behind J. So here is J stroke K uh, slash K. And then here we have A and D. So it's A slash D. E and H behind E. So we write E stroke H. And then we have F and G at the back. So it's F slash G here. And B and C. So it's B slash C. Then let's look at the dimensions. Here IJ is 3 centimeters. So 3 centimeters. IA is 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters. AB is 6, AB is 6. Here, FB is the same length as GC. So since GC is 2 centimeters, FB is also 2 centimeters. And then here, EF is 1 centimeter, EF is 1 centimeter. So here we don't need to, to know the length of this line to draw it because we can draw this line, IJ here. We can draw this edge and we can draw this edge, EF, and then we can just connect the line. Okay, so there's no need to find out the length of this line to draw it. As long as we draw this and this edge correctly, we can just connect the two vertices here, J and E, and we get our line in the right dimensions. So this is elevation from X. Now let's look at elevation from Y here, from this side. So let's look at our 3D structure. Now we want to look at it from Y. Y is here, this side. Okay. So let's get it flat. Okay, so when we look at it from Y, you notice that we can see the line here. This line here is visible. This is a visible line. So when we look at it at, from Y, we can only see two squares. It looks like as if there's only two squares here and this line here is visible. Here. The line here is visible. So that is how we draw it. We draw a visible line using a solid line. Our elevation from Y is very simple. It's just two squares. And then as usual, we label all our vertices accordingly. You have to be careful to see whether there's anything directly, any vertex directly behind the front vertex. Like for example, F and then E is at the back. So it will be F slash E here and so on for everything else. And our dimensions. When we look from this side, this is 2 centimeters, so FB is 2 centimeters as well, 2 centimeters. And then here again, we are taking JF here. This is the line where we decide the length, not the slope. We don't take into account the slope. We are looking at it from this side. So when we look at it from this side, this is the length that we see. And the length here will be, since GC is 2, FB is 2, then here we are looking for f j so here f j f j so this one will be 4 4 is the whole thing i a minus f b which is 2 centimeters this is 2 centimeters and the whole thing is 4 which means the remainder here is 2 centimeters as well so here we have 2 centimeters 2 centimeters and 2 centimeters so this is the elevation from y again here there's no hidden edge and so there's no need for any dashed line. Now let's look at elevation from Z, the other side. So now we are coming from sort of the left side, which looks like a behind of the object. Let's go to 3D structure. Go to Z, which is the back like this. So when we look at it from this position, all we can see is one rectangle, a single rectangle. That is all we see. And that is the elevation from Z. However, we cannot forget that behind here, there's actually a line. But this line is hidden from view when we look at it from Z. When we look at it from Z, we can't actually see the line. But we know that there is an edge here. Just now, from Y, from Y, 
this edge is very visible when you look at it you can see the edge you can see the separation but from here we can't see the separation but we know that it is there but we know that it's there and this is when we have to use the dashed line so let's go to this so when we look from z again we only have one rectangle so we draw the rectangle we label the vertices and then the dimensions are the same as for the elevation from y they are exactly the same you're just looking at it from two opposite sides but this time this edge here eh this eh is not visible from the z position so we have to use a dash line to draw the invisible edge this is when we employ dash line compared to y this is a solid line because we can actually see this edge so an edge that is not visible we need to use dash line like this that's it for plan and elevations if you've learned something please don't forget to hit the like button it really does help to support my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'll see you in the next video